Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to solve these given quadratic equation in a super easy way and really fast. In order to get a full understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for additional practice problems. So let's get started with the very first example. And also make sure that this given quadratic equation is indeed in a standard form. So let's get started with our very first step. We are going to create a rainbow by just simply multiplying these two end numbers. 3 times 5 is going to give us positive 15. And now we are going to factor 15 into two numbers. So if you add them, you're going to get negative 8. So the possible number is going to be, the factor is going to be a negative 3 and negative 5. And in this next step, we are going to switch the sign of these factors. So this negative 3 is going to become positive 3 and this negative 5 become positive 5. And our final step is, look at this leading coefficient which is positive 3 we are going to divide both these numbers by that leading coefficient so we simply got this is 3 over 3 is going to give us 1 and this is positive 5 over 3 so thus our solution set turns out to be 1 and 5 over 3 and we can write in both notations either way Either way is fine. Let's recap our steps that we have covered so far. The very first step we did was we created a rainbow by multiplying these n numbers. Then whatever we got after multiplication this number, we factor that one out into two numbers. We switch the sign then and finally we divided those numbers by the leading coefficient. And now let's move on to our next example. Make sure that this given quadratic equation is in a standard form. Our very first step is to create a rainbow and to multiply these n numbers. If we multiply these n numbers, negative 5 times 18 is going to give us negative 90. And now we are going to find the factors of negative 90 to get this positive 27. So the possible factor is going to be positive 30 and negative 3. And now we are going to switch the sign of these factors. So negative positive 30 is going to become negative 30 and then this negative 3 become positive 3. And our final step is look at this leading coefficient which is negative 5. We're going to divide both these numbers by this negative 5, the leading coefficient. So if we simplify that's going to give us 6 and here it's going to give us positive times negative become negative 3 fifth. So thus our solution set turns out to be positive 6 and negative 3 fifth. And here are both kind of answer. Both of them are acceptable. And let's look at this next example over here. And this quadratic equation is indeed in a standard form. So before we get started, we can see that our leading coefficient is 1. Let's create a rainbow and multiply these end numbers. 1 times negative 21 is going to become negative 21. And now we are going to factor this negative 21 to get this positive 4. So the possible factors is going to be negative 3 and positive 7. And in the next step, we are going to change the sign. This negative 3 become positive 3 and this positive 7 becomes negative 7. And finally, look at our leading coefficient, which is 1. We are going to divide both numbers by 
1 so we simply got this one if you simplify positive 3 and this is negative 7 so thus our solution set turns out to be positive 3 and negative 7 and I put down the answers in both notations and here is our final example and as you can see this is not in a standard form let's create let's put it in a standard form so move this negative x and this 15 to the left hand side so this is going to make simply this is 6x squared is already there when you move this negative x is going to become positive x and then this 15 become negative 15 equal to 0 and you can see now this is indeed in a standard form and in this next step we are going to create a rainbow by just simply multiplying these two end numbers so 6 times negative 15 is gonna give us negative 90 let's put it down negative 90 now we're going to factor out this negative 90 to get this positive 1 that is in the middle right over here. So the possible factor is going to be negative 9 and positive 10. And in the next step we are going to switch the sign of these numbers. So this negative 9 become positive 9 and this positive 10 becomes negative 10 and finally in our last step let's look at the leading coefficient which is 6 we are going to divide these numbers by this leading coefficient which is 6 so now we are going to simplify this thing that is going to give us the reduced form is going to be 3 over 2 and here is going to be negative 5 over 3 and thus our solution turns out to be 3 over 2 and negative 5 over 3 and I put it in a both notations and here is your assignment can you do this problem on your own you can take your time luckily I have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.